have a visitor. If you guys can't tell, it's young Sutro here feeding Boo Boo breakfast. Boo Boo say good morning. Good morning. She says I'm way into this yogurt right now, Mom. What kind of yogurt is she having? Is this the happy baby? I think these are the... Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I think they're the happy baby yogurts. That one's apple and pear. She loves yogurt. Loves it. She normally eats that whole thing. But Kylie is here playing hooky from school today. She is not going to school. She is hanging out with me because because she can because her mom told her she could but her dog is actually here too so you guys will see baby later my mom's apartment is getting inspected today and they're not supposed to have a puppy but they're moving out in like a month so it's not really it's not really a big deal they're just rebels you know but anyway so we got baby we got kylie and we got boo-boos here huh <sighs> and you are eating that yogurt yeah I had to wake Natalia up. Or actually, no, I didn't. I almost woke her up, but then she woke up by herself at like 8, 10, 8, 15. <laughs> so yummy. Ooh. Um. She says, wipe my face with the spoonie. Wait. <laughs> okay, all right. <coughs> there you go. Well, we brought baby in to give her a little bit of a break from Shyla and Ryder. But she's doing all right. Kylie likes to baby her puppy. She was literally holding her like a baby. She'll be all right. She's just sniffing all the sniffs, finding all the things. Hi, huh, baby. Hi. Huh. Huh. She wasn't as skittish outside, though, with the dogs. I don't know if it's just inside that's freaking her out. Or what? She's a dirty girl. You're going to need a bath tonight, baby. You're going to need a bath tonight, cute girl. Where's your toy? Where's your little pink piggy? You gonna get your pink pig? You gonna get it? Don't know about that? Anybody else's husband or boyfriend just come home and just leave all their stuff right here. This was his baseball uniform. He started a baseball, or I guess it's softball. Um, and this is the team, NWO. And then <laughs> the back says Bubba Franks, which is hilarious because I've never heard one person call him Bubba Franks one day in his life. Apparently his dad calls him Bubba. Apparently. So that's really funny. But of course, he just left his bag and his pants and everything right here on the couch for me to put away. So, thanks, honey. Appreciate it. Where are you going, pretty girl? I like your purse. Oh, gotta get a sippy. Gotta get a sippy? You have it the wrong way. She's gonna get mad. This way, mama. Look, mommy help. Mommy help. This way. Oh, okay. She doesn't care anymore. The baby's just hanging out. Kylie's babying her baby. <laughs> she, she, uh, she is being a little feisty. Huh. So we had to separate you. We had to separate you guys for a little bit. What? That da da does at work. Boo-boo misses her puppies. 
Yeah. No, we already fed them, baby. We already fed the dogs. Ryder didn't eat, as you guys can tell, so I put it... Oh, no. We're not opening that again. I had to put it up here so Natalia wouldn't mess with it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, baby girl. Oh, my goodness. So, when Miss Thing had time to uh, do all this, I don't know. When did you have time to do all this? And you took all your shoes, not all of them. Oh, honey. Goodness. I still really need to paint this and that, but they have been bolted to the wall, so that we'll have to wait until Marcus can do it. Boo boo. Oh, honey. Your room. We need to take care of this real quick. There's not much better than being fully stocked up on wipes. This makes me... Oh, hey, stop. So happy. She's bad. Hey. No, no. We need to childproof these next. No, no. She used to not be able to open those. Remy, you need to stop. Oh, goodness. Not yet, not time, you still got like 30 minutes. So I also just filled up, what is this called? Like a diaper caddy, I guess. I just filled that up anyway. But I was seeing that a lot of people have said that, or they've put that in their, like things they regret buying for their babies. But I really like it. Mine came with the bed set that we bought her. And I don't know, I really like it because it's a nice, <laughs> convenient, nice looking place to keep my diapers since the diaper changer 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 is right there so i don't know i really like it but i just filled that up and filled up the wipes and stuff so we're doing good over here so you guys i got dressed and i curled the tips of my hair and we have to leave in like 30 minutes and kylie informed me that the medicine that her puppy is taking when she poops the poop is like contagious and if the other dogs eat it then they'll get sick so I don't, I'm not going to leave her out in the back with my dogs while I leave for work. I'm going to leave her in the kitchen on the hardwood and she isn't potty trained fully yet. So if she does use the bathroom, which I'm sure she will because she already just peed on my carpet. Um, if she does have to use the bathroom, at least it'll be on the hardwood and I can lock her in with the baby gates. And then Kylie said when she comes and picks her up while I'm still at work, then she'll just clean up if baby does pee and poop all over the place. So. But I just don't want my dogs getting sick, so I think that's going to be the best bet for everyone. But Natalia's still sleeping. I pretty much, sorry, didn't realize I was out of focus. I pretty much have everything, what is on my nose? I pretty much have everything ready to go. Um, I have her food, her juice, just like snacks and stuff. Regular things you need when you're out with a toddler. I also should switch the laundry real quick switch it over before I head to work. She was screaming her head off the entire way home and she also has like a bad rash on her stomach and on her back. The parents of the children that I nanny, um, they're both doctors, so I sent a <laughs> I sent a picture to one of them and spoke to the other one. And neither of them seemed to be too concerned. I looked up online and it could be a sign of teething, like who knows? But I'll show you guys. After I get her a little happier, I just wanted to let you guys know we got home and I need to feed her. Marcus is picking up dinner for us. 
Oh, baby girl, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> I really wanna show you guys her rash in case any of you have seen it, but it's like not coming up on camera and she's not standing still. That is not part of it. That is from, she must have been, oh goodness, she must have been sitting weird in her high chair. But she has little tiny pink dots all over her back. Natalia, I don't know if you guys can, oh my goodness, wild child over here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, go look at your puppies. Where are your boys? Where's your boy? Where's Ryder boy? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. I was just trying to show you guys her little rash in case anyone else has seen it so I can tell me, Sienna, relax, you're fine. Um, Marcus just got home with food. We're having Panda Express for dinner because it sounds really good. So, that'll be delicious. Call anyone. Call one, please. Fuck. Oh, okay. You're okay. I don't know what you guys can see, but my brother-in-law just cut off his thumb in the ding. Okay, and here's your wallet, honey. I have your wallet and I have this one? Okay, I'll grab it. I'm here. Whatever one. What car are you going to take? Expedition? What are you riding with? No, you need to get home. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh my god, he cut his thumb off in the chain of the motorcycle. And there is blood literally everywhere. Oh, no, 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 baby.
Oh my god, you guys, I was literally just trying to get, get undressed <laughs> in this what oh, is it hot, baby? Oh shit. It's not too hot, guys, don't worry. Obviously not, she's having a great time. Natalia, we need to take off this diaper. I'm laughing. Oh my god. I'm actually naked right now, which is why I'm not showing me. Natalia, <laughs> this is what happens when I'm trying to do my cyber routine by myself. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys, I just got out of the shower and put Natalia down for the night. Um, I just want to take a quick second and just um, reflect, I guess. Um, obviously, that was scary for me. I've never, actually, this is the second time in my life I've had to call 911. Did I say 991? 911. Sorry, I'm so tired, and that probably was the stupidest thing I ever said. If I did say 991, I'm pretty sure I said 911. Anyway, that was the second time I've ever had to do that, and when somebody is telling you, like, call 911, call 911, like, your heart, like, just goes, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know if any of you have ever had to do that, but it was insane, and if I was worried, like, I can't imagine how Jared was feeling, um, Jared is such a trooper, and he is so strong, and so he's amazing and I wish I was more like him in that way in that like when things are an emergency you don't um get too scared or too like he held his cool he held his calm he held himself so well he wasn't screaming he wasn't anything he was keeping his calm Marcus was putting pressure on to his thumb and yeah I don't know exactly what was going on um it's not really my story to tell all I know for sure is that he was working on the motorcycle and I don't know I heard the motorcycle fall because he was in our driveway I heard the motorcycle fall and I was like oh what was that and then I just see Jared like running to the front and then Marcus gets up and he's like oh crap and then Jared just is yelling to call 911 so Marcus runs out there with him obviously to check on him and I start calling 911 but apparently I don't know what he was doing in the motorcycle I don't know about any of that kind of stuff but Marcus said from his thumbnail up um, got cut off in the bike chain and I actually had to run and get a Ziploc baggie and fill it with ice so that we could put the tip of his thumb in there to give it to the paramedics so yes so yeah Marcus followed the ambulance because um, he needed to go with his brother obviously you don't make somebody go do anything like that by themselves and I am hoping everything will be obviously everything will be fine he is okay like he was okay he's obviously really strong and like holding it together really well but he was talking he was speaking um told him I loved him he told me he loved me um Natalia I made her say she loved him and all that stuff um he was he was okay when he left so I'm sure I'm sure he will be fine he's had one other pretty bad accident with a motor bike it wasn't a motorcycle it was a dirt bike um, and he broke his foot really bad a few years back with a motorcycle. So, him and these motored vehicles are just, he is so, he's such a daredevil and he loves it so much. He loves motorcycles. He loves, um, like, engines. He loves working on, like, all these really cool things that I have no idea about. Marcus does too, but Jared's, Jared's a little more passionate about it than Marcus is. Sorry, honey, but it's true. And you know it's true but oh my goodness um so i am not going to vlog anymore the rest of the night i need to be alert i need to have my phone near me in case marcus calls me or if for some reason jared called me i would love to be available for him to speak to me if he needed to or wanted to um i need to clean the blood off of my porch and my entryway a little bit i need to wash the towel that we used to stop the bleeding and there's blood all over my driveway, but that's okay. I'd rather there be so much blood than anybody get more hurt than that. I would, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that's all it was. I'm so glad, like, it could have been so much worse than that. So anyway, if you guys know my brother-in-law, Jared, Marcus's little brother, please give him some love. Tell him you hope he is having a smooth recovery and you hope his thumb is okay. And I don't really know what else to say, but... Please give this video a thumbs up if you 
if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet so you can see we're doing all day every day and i will see you guys in the next video hopefully with an update on jared so good night